Welcome to this video on the elusive Final Fantasy VII item, the Vagaris Claw. This video is going to cover the Vagaris Claw, why it is so hard to steal, and some ways of farming the item, and what the optimal level for doing so is. Now, if you're only interested in the optimal level for stealing the Vagaris Claw, it's level 5 or level 11, depending on how you look at it. But I'll get to why in a bit. I'm now going to get a little theoretical, so if you only want tips on how to get the items, you can skip ahead to around 10 minutes into the video. So why would anyone ever want to make a video on the Vagaris Claw? Well, I got the idea when a very good friend of mine was talking about his dream about having a perfect Final Fantasy VII save. Now, the definition of a perfect save will differ for different people, but for him, a part of it was having 99 of all usable items while not using the W item glitch. For the Vagaris Claw, there is really only one way to achieve this, and that is by stealing them from an enemy called Bagrisk. Now, the Bagrisk is not an enemy you'll come across if you play the game casually, and many of you out there, including myself, might never have met them unless you've actively sought them out. They can be found here on the dirt area around Cosmo Canyon, where they appear in groups of three. Since stealing this item isn't as straightforward as most steals in the game, it kind of fascinated me and made me want to make this video. Before I say anything else, I need to go into stealing and how that works first. So stealing uses a few variables in its formula, and these are your character's level, the enemy's level, the item chance value, and that is a, a value which is unique per item per enemy. And the higher this value is, the easier it is to steal the item. And the fourth one is whether or not you have the sneak gloves equipped. So this is the formula. Uh, it looks quite complicated, uh, but it can be broken down into the following parts. So first we have the level difference, or LV diff I call it here, and that is 40 plus your character level minus the enemy's level. And this will result in an integer which is used in the rest of the formula uh, and is capped at 100 and having the sneak gloves equipped will ensure that this cap is hit for all steal attempts. The second is the level factor and there you multiply the level difference with 512 and divide that by 100 and then you round it down to the nearest integer and that will be used in the next step of the formula which is the chance which is the just calculated level factor and multiplied by the item chance value and then you divide that by 256 and you round down to the nearest integer. Now chance will return an integer between 0 and 63 and this value is fixed per your level and enemy level so if any of those changes the chance will change. Might change. After that, a random number between 0 and 63 is generated by the game, and that number is compared to the chance value from the formula. If this random number is lower than or equal to the chance value, then the item is stolen, and otherwise it is not. So I did some calculations, and the results of this formula shows that the chance to steal an item increases linearly as you level up. Now this is pretty straightforward, as long as the enemy has only one stealable item. Now, the bag risk has three stealable items, where the first two are soft, and the last one is the item we're looking for here, the elusive bag risk claw. So when you attempt to steal from an enemy with more than one item, the steal formula is first applied to the item in the first slot. If the steal is not successful, then it moves on to the item in the second slot, and if that is not successful, it moves on to the item in the third slot. This would, uh, wouldn't be a problem, but unfortunately, you can only steal one item per enemy which for the bag risk means that you cannot steal all three items. You cannot get two softs and a bag risk claw from the same bag risk. You cannot get two softs and nothing else. So yeah, you can only get one item. Stealing the bag risk claw from the bag risk means you have to miss the steal on the first two slot soft and then succeed on the third slot. Now the item chance value for both softs is 32, which means they have a pretty good chance of being stolen. And the Vagaris Claw has a chance value of 8, which means that that item is harder to steal. Because stealing works the way it does, when an enemy has several slots, the chance of getting the Vagaris Claw will be dependent on your chance of getting either of the two softs. This means that if the chance to steal either of the softs increases, then the chance of getting the Vagaris Claw will actually decrease. So generally, the higher your level is, the harder it is to steal this item. 
So I did some calculations, and I'm now going to try to clarify why this is using a few graphs. This first graph shows you the chance of stealing the first slot soft per steal attempt. So at level 28 here, you have a 50% chance of stealing the first slot soft, and at level 78, you have a 100% chance. As you can see, the chance to steal the first slot soft increases somewhat linearly as you level up until it reaches 100% at level 78. Now, the second graph adds the chance of stealing the second slot soft per steal attempt. Since this is dependent on the chance of stealing the first slot soft, the chance to steal the second slot soft will start to decrease after you reach level 28. And that is because the chance to steal the first slot soft is so great that the chance to steal the second slot soft decreases. Now in this third graph is where it gets interesting. And this will uh, now also show the chance of stealing the Vagris Claw per steal attempt. So it might be slightly difficult to see on this one, but if we zoom in on the lower part of the graph, you can quite clearly see that the chance to steal that item will never go uh, higher than around 4.2% per steal attempt. So if you want to know the best level for stealing the Vagrus Claw per steal attempt, it's level 11, quite closely followed by 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 13, 17 and 18. But basically the lower level you are, the easier it is to steal the item. But wait, there's more. When I was making this graph, I thought to myself, is it really the chance to steal the Vagris Claw per steal attempt that is the most interesting to look at? And I realized that I do not think it is. To me, what is even more important is the chance to steal the item per enemy rather than per steal attempt. Mostly because the Vagris has three item slots and you can only get one of them per enemy. Now these two are naturally quite closely related as the chance to steal per enemy is based on the chance to steal per steal attempt, but they are not quite the same thing. I'm also going to start using another measurement here, which is the number of steal attempts and number of enemies you need to steal from in order to get a single Vagris Claw. So I did even more calculations, and this first graph shows both the average number of enemies you need to steal from, and the average number of steal attempts for one Vagris Claw in the same graph. Both lines follow each other quite closely, but the line for the average number of steal attempts has its lowest value at 11, as I mentioned before, while the line for the average number of enemies you need to steal from has its lowest value at 4 or 5. It's the same value on both 4 and 5, but I'm gonna say 5 from now on because being level 4 is harder than being level 5. So if you want as few battles as possible for this endeavor, the optimal level is 5. Another thing to take note of is that it is generally going to be faster to get the Vagris Claw the lower level you are, with a few small exceptions. From this point on I will no longer be looking at the chance per steal attempt. We can now use the average number of enemies you need to steal from to calculate the average number of battles you need to fight against Vagris to get 99 Vagris Claws per character level. The encounter rate for the bag risk in this area is 30 divided by 64, meaning we can use the two to calculate the average number of battles you need to fight and steal from in order to get 99 bag risk claw. Now this graph shows it from level 1 to level 50. I've added a few reference lines, where the bottom red one is for the lowest average number of battles, which is 840, up to 5 times the lowest number of battles, which is 4200. This shows that while the optimal level for stealing the item is level 5, anything below level 20 or even 30 is kind of okay. It will take longer at those levels, but it's not a disaster. Now of course you will get other benefits at level 30 compared to level 5 as more HP and so on, which might narrow the gap somewhat, but it won't close it. So at level 40 you need to fight around 2,800 battles, and at level 50 it's around 4,400. And at level 60 it's going to be around 9,600. At level 70 it's a whopping 50,000 battles. And to illustrate this accelerating trend you can look at this graph here. This shows the same as the previous one, but for levels 1 to 70. And I've added a shaded area, which is the area that was covered in the previous plot, to further reinforce the increasing trend. So it is only going to get worse as you level up even more, until you reach level 78, where it is no longer possible to steal a Vagris Claw, and this is simply because at that level you are guaranteed to get the first slot soft when stealing. 
That is going to be it for the more theoretical part, and I'm now going to get a bit more practical, looking at tips for effective methods of farming the Vagris Claw. Before I get into it, here's something which stands for all these methods. Your first steel materia can be found in Midgar, but it can also be purchased at the Calm Materia store, so you can get more than one of them, which is not upgraded to Mug, which could be nice. Don't kill the enemies after you've stolen from them, as you do not want the experience. Or at least, escape before you kill the last one. Having elemental earth combo and protection against petrify helps as the Bagris can use both Quake 2 for earth damage and stone strike which petrifies. Another thing you can do is have a high level cover material on one of your characters which is especially useful for the lower level farming methods. Also playing on active with the fastest battle speed helps you escape quicker because you're not going to face the Bagris in every fight and you want to get out of those as quickly as possible. Now for the actual methods. The first and most straightforward method is simply to do it as soon as you reach Cosmo Canyon by choosing the party members with the lowest level and stealing with all your characters until you get enough of them. You'll probably be at around level 20 to 25 at this point, so it's a pretty solid method since your level won't be too high. If you want to steal from all targets at once, the first point you can do that is after the underwater reactor, where you get the Leviathan scales, which in turn gives you access to the steel swell materia in Wutai. Now, if you combine this with, for example, Restore, and also have a Restore All combo, you can cast Cure on all enemies and steal from them all in the process. Unfortunately, at this point you will probably be around level 40 to 50, if not even higher, especially since this is most likely going to be a perfect game attempt. So it's probably going to be less efficient than simply doing it with regular steals when you first pass Cosmo Canyon. Another issue is the enemy Griffin, which can quite efficiently deplete your MP with its attacks. So stack a lot of tents if you want to try this. Another way to steal from all targets is to use the Mega All Materia. The problem with this is that you find the Materia in the Northern Cave, and by that point, in a perfect save, you will surely be at least level 60 if not even 70 or higher. So stealing from all targets won't benefit you too much since the chance to get the item will unfortunately be extremely low. But it is the fastest way to steal from all targets once, which is helpful. Now if we take it even one step further, you can master as many sneak attack material as possible, preferably as many as six, and then you can basically automate the stealing process. This is done by combining the sneak attack with steel materia and also having a high level mega all materia. You will most likely steal from other enemies before the fight even really starts, and you can just run away and try again. But again, at this point, your levels will simply be too high for this to be really efficient. So far, the optimal strategy is simply to do this task as soon as you get the chance. But there are additional things you can do in order to speed up the process. Now we're going to take this one step further. Since stealing the Vagris Claw is easier at low levels, we simply need to force at least one character to remain at a low level throughout the entire game. But since all characters gain experience even if they are not in your party, the only way to do this is by killing off one character and doing so every time that character is revived, for example when the party rests. That character will also need to be in your party at all times, meaning you will have to play the game with only two characters. But let's be honest, the game isn't hard enough for that to be a real problem. The best character for this is Tifa, as you can actually keep her as low as level 7 the entire game, and she doesn't have any solo fights. She can therefore almost be at the optimal stealing level for the Vagaris Claw whenever you want to do it. If you really don't want to sacrifice Tifa, you can always kill off another character, preferably the traitor Kate Sith. The other characters will be at a higher level, but that is surmountable as the difference between level 7 and 20 in this regard is acceptable. By having a character at level 7 when stealing the Vagaris Claws, the task will be significantly faster, especially compared to being at level 30+. Plus. So in my opinion, the best way of farming the item there is is by killing off Tifa and keeping her knocked out the entire game, and after you have grinded up Materia, you use the sneak attack steal mega all combo. 
I did a little trial of this method and was able to rack up 10 Vagaris Claw in under 40 minutes, which indicates that stealing the items can be completed in less than 7 hours. If you're watching this video and you're already far into your perfect game challenge, my best tip is to simply kill off your lowest level character and then farm up sneak attack, mega all, to make the stealing faster. If you are at level 50+, plus, you are unfortunately going to have a pretty bad time at this, but this is the way to go if you want to make the process as smooth as possible. And if you've hit level 70, I recommend you simply yield and use the W item glitch as it will otherwise take you forever to complete. That's going to be it for this one, so uh, thank you for watching and until next time, have a good time!